Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video and geared up in July's Wrestle Crate goodies. Got my Asylum t-shirt on. I'm wearing my Extreme Wrestling baseball cap. And I'm wearing these because it's time to open August Wrestle Crate. Whoa, Wrestle Crate! Wham, bam, it's a Wrestle Crate jam! I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Or am I a rapper that couldn't get any crap up? Anyway, to assist me with opening this, I have Stan Lee Knife. I'm Stan Lee. Stan, if you could please cut the tape on the box. And inside, glorious. Is it? Well, let's find out. Immediately on top, I've got a coaster there. That looks to be like from the Tats, Roman Reigns delivering the Superman punch. <sighs> coasters always come in handy. I hate when guests come over and leave ugly stains on my coffee table. We've got a couple of t-shirts. We'll leave those till last. And joining a couple of t-shirts is a couple of DVDs. The best of LCW Volume 1. Ooh, that's... is that Mason Ryan there? Front and centre. Looks like Kurt Hawkins too. And I'll turn it around so you can take a look at the back. There's also Chris Masters on their ex-WWE. And the second one is Ring of Honor, 14th anniversary. And there's a look at the matches that are on the back. Then we have, what's this? Collector's Edition Wrestling Arcade presents an A to Z of gimmick matches. I love a gimmick match, me. Ooh, this lists them all, and then it depicts the artwork in 8-bit style. There's a triple cage match, and then beneath that, there's the kennel match. Kennel in the cell? Hell? Hell in the cell? Kennel in the hell in the cell? Remember that? Al Snow versus Big Boss Man in a cage surrounded by dogs inside a cell? Yeah, it was very crap. That being what came out of most of the dogs' buttholes. And then, ooh, I'm an ass man. We got two words for ya. Subscribe now. Well, those are my words. Here's a suck it! And, ooh, that's signed by Billy Gunn. Nice. And it's saying on the back here, this artwork was commissioned exclusively for WrestleCrate and created by Earl Tompkins. Mmm, fancy there. And then there's a pin badge which has a heart which says Network and Chill. I assume by Network they're referring to the WWE Network and by and Chill they're referring to Netflix and Chill. Where you invite someone over to watch Netflix and then f*** the shit out of them. With their consent of course. Oh yeah, I was just facing the bottom of the crate. But no, we've got two t-shirts still. Let's open the one. And this is Progress Wrestling. Punk, rock and pro wrestling since 2012. I do believe Wrestle Crate have partnered up with Progress Wrestling, who are a London-based wrestling company. So I'm expecting to see more Progress goodies in Wrestle Crates in months to come. So if you're a Progress Wrestling fan, you may want to jump on the Wrestle Crate. You can sign up. The link is in the description beneath this video. Not only that, but I believe I have a discount code in there and you'll get 10% off your first order. Aren't I nice? And then this t-shirt is, it's a Lucha Fang. There's some luchador, I assume diving off the top rope. Had to do a crossbody perhaps on the opponent down there. That's pretty nice, I like that. Like the bright neon orange. People will see me and my luchas coming down the street. So as I said, feel free to sign up. All the info is in the description beneath this video. Hey, we could be WrestleCrate buddies. Anyway, if you missed me opening last month's WrestleCrate, click this video and you'll get a good gawk at the goodies that aren't currently adorning my body. And please smack down a thumbs up to this video and I hope to see you all next time. Mm, bye.